I'm starting off the day today by vlogging because I'm going to the hair salon, which I have not gone to, I wanna say it's been about a year and a half, a little over a year since the last time I went to the hair salon. And I'm gonna get my hair done today. I'm excited. I don't even know exactly what I want. Right now I have like inspo photos, but I don't know exactly, exactly how I wanna do it. So when I sit in the chair, I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do to this hair. So this is gonna be probably the last time you will see me with this hair color. Right now my hair is like a, it's like a medium to dark brown, but it is starting to get a little bit brassy at the ends. You can see it's a little bit more orange, red tone. And I have it kind of like in a half up, half down because this part of my hair is like a little bit frizzy and messed up. But I'm really excited though because I have been wanting to do a change to my hair. I, like I said, I don't know what I want to do yet because I like the chocolate brown hair that I have. And if anything, I'll go back to this color. I don't think I would ever, I don't want to say never, but I don't think I will go back to the dark, dark, almost black hair that I used to have for a, a very long time because that was not intentional. I love the way that the chocolate brown looks on my hair, but I want to try something a little bit different. So we'll see once I get there what I decide. This is the mess that she's in. I know, I look good. How do you zoom in? Are you girls doing good over there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're doing great. <laughs> oh my god, my hair looks yellow. It does. I think that's the camera though. Dude, it looks light, light. Like this light. That's crazy. I am back home. Like this is hours later already. I've been home for a while, but you can see now how my hair looks. And obviously right now I have like lights in here. So it's gonna look a little bit warmer cause I have this light on right here next to me. But I love the way that it looks. It is like a really nice, I don't even know what color. Let me see if I can get up and kind of show you away from this light. Kind of like a, what'd you say, caramel, ash, blonde. <laughs> it's like a brown mixed with blonde. There's like some blonde pieces in here, but you can still see a lot of that really nice chocolatey brown kind of, I don't know. But I do love the way that she did it. She did such an amazing job. This was the first time I'd ever gone to her. And it's funny because it was my sister that was actually looking for somebody to do her hair. And she was on Instagram looking up different people and she showed me her page and I was like, uh, yeah. So I made an appointment and she was able to put me in there, did what she had to do. This was all one session too. One sit down. It took about, th I think three to four. I want to say like four hours. Because I got there around 12. We started around 12.30 and I left around four four so like three and a half four hours i am thinking of going back maybe for a second session but i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do in that second session because i can go in for a second session and just tone or i can go in for a second session and make it lighter and brighter and like full-on blonde so we'll see what I decide when we get there. And the photo that I chose, I think was very realistic because she does, if you like go on her Instagram, which I'll have her, her Instagram below, she does like platinum blonde hair. She does platinum blonde. She does like very cool tone, silver, you know, that kind of hair. So she, when she looked at my hair, she's like, I haven't even looked at the pictures that you want but what are you thinking of doing because your hair is pretty dark and before this you had it almost black so we got to be a little bit realistic here so i showed her the photo and she was like okay yeah 
that's totally doable because I obviously know not to show a photo of something crazy impossible. So I made sure to look for photos like that. Um, in about six to eight weeks, she said I can go back if I want to for a second session, which is like perfect because in six to eight weeks, it's gonna be right around the time where it's gonna be time to head to Cabo for our vacation. So it's perfect timing. I didn't even plan it like that, but it works out. I do still have to trim my hair right now my hair gotta hold my camera out here is about boob length yeah it's like right here so it just looks shorter because of how it was curled but it is it's pretty it's pretty good length so tomorrow i'm just gonna go in i think tomorrow i'm gonna go in and trim it the only thing is i have to straighten it out which i don't want to because it already has a nice curl to it i'm gonna do that on camera for you guys as well yeah that's my little update on my hair so far what do you guys think I know a lot of you guys like the darker hair on me and a lot of you guys like the lighter hair on me and I like both I like the darker hair I just like the the look of the chocolate brown on my skin tone I think it looks really like I me mean, not to like toot my own horn but I think it looks nice on my skin tone it complements my skin tone but you know, it's nice to switch it up once in a while and do something a little bit lighter. Darius just left too, but he got here way earlier when I got home. And he was like, whoa. He was like, I really, really like it. He was saying that he likes it. And so that's good because obviously he has to stare at my face almost every single day. And then if I do want to darken it up, when fall time comes i can also do that i can add in you know some deeper colors without going all the way almost black like i did the last time but i'm not even trying to think about that i want to have this hair for some time enjoy it maybe even go a little bit lighter tone it a little bit we'll see but for now we're not trying to go back to chocolate brown we're trying to keep this color for some time we'll see what we end up doing but that is it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in the next clip, which will be tomorrow, but you know what I mean, how I trim my hair. I'm about to show you how I cut my hair or trim my hair here at home. And I've gotten my hair cut and my hair trimmed by a lot of different people. And most of the time it just doesn't come out the way that I want it to. My hair is very coarse and it needs to be cut a certain way so that it's not thick and bulky at the end so i'm gonna show you exactly how i do it because a lot of people what they do is they grab it and they put it up here right and they cut it straight across which is nice it creates layers but when they put it down my hair is just bulky and thick at the end and it does not look right so i do it a little bit differently i actually need to change the battery on my camera because it's about to die one thing i know for sure i'm gonna do when i go back to get my hair done is bring these two pieces right here down some more because i think they're it looks nice when it's really curled but when it's just straightened out like this it just kind of looks like two pieces so i am gonna get this kind of melted down a little bit and blends it a lot more and of course we still aren't done with my hair so just a little heads up first thing i'm gonna do is brush through my hair and then I am also gonna run my straightener through my hair. I want it to be as straight as possible because if I go in like this, I won't be able to really see how it's going to look. So just kind of running my straightener through. I also think that now that my hair is a different color, I need to change the settings on my camera, the color settings, because it's picking it up a little bit different then it looks in person i think that's fine i don't need it to be pin pin straight i have two different types of scissors that i use when i trim my hair i only use one of them all the time the other one i use it very rarely and it's these two right here just a regular pair of cutting shears or cutting scissors cutting scissors i think these are the shears so yeah, it has these little teeth looking things. And then I have just these regular ones. These right here um, basically thin out your hair or give it more 
I guess you would call it texturized. I don't know, but I just know that you don't want to use those often at all. And most people don't even need to use those at all. And I would recommend that if you do want to try these out, you go get your hair professionally done. But me, I have watched many people do it. I've watched my uncle do it and I've watched videos on it. And I think I kind of got the hang of it. Not necessarily saying that I know what I'm doing or that I'm a professional at all. Yeah, if you already have thin hair, you do not want to even touch these or use these. Trust me, because they're, if you use these wrong or if you go too high up or if you do it too many times, you are going to end up messing up your hair. All I'm going to do really is cut my or split my hair in half. Make sure it's kind of even on both sides. And again, I'm not a professional, so I just kind of do this by however I think it would look good. So towards the end, I like to stretch it out as much as possible. And you can see the ends of my hair are very pointy. You could do the rubber band method, and like put a rubber band and then, you know, trim it here. I just do it like this. To even out the layers. See how it looks more blunt at the bottom, which I like. I'm trying to get my hair to be all one length. This part right here is what is taking the longest to grow. See, compared to this side, this side is longer and more like spiky looking, and this is a little bit more straight. I know some of you guys are probably watching this and cringing because you, you're probably like a hair stylist or something but I've been doing it like this and it works for me it looks better already just by me cutting it straight across and even here it's not thick at the bottom so I would even leave it like this but look at the difference compared this side to this side it already looks healthier and it feels healthier already just by cutting off all these split dead ends what I never do is go up here and you know no I never bring it up you know that high if I do need to cut these layers which I'm going to a little bit what I do instead of going straight across this way I grab whatever piece I need to trim you can see how crazy that looks and I go upwards so there's a good angle I go upwards instead of going like this I trim upward this is a part where I wish my bangs would just grow but I need to trim them because if not I have a bunch of dead ends that already feel so much better see this side looks a little healthier a little bit more polished and kind of beachy and this side just looks like girl like get it together and that's even a little tiny trim you can see my my hair is still a good length see pieces like this that are thick in the front This is where I'll just do. It's gonna look crazy because it's gonna look like I'm literally cutting the middle of my hair. But I'm not. I'm gonna make sure they're the right scissors. Let's see, look. Hold on. See how all this hair comes off? You just gotta get a comb and brush through it to make sure it all kind of comes out. And within the next few days that I style my hair, straighten it out completely, wash it a few times, I will really be able to go in and see exactly how it's going to look and then I'll like adjust it and whatnot but just as a first draft kind of trim I guess you can call it this is what I will do a 
Got this at Forever 21, by the way. I featured it in my haul. Cool, my hair is done. Very easy, simple. I know I did this more vlog style, so sorry if it was kind of hard to follow, but it's easier for me to just trim my hair how I normally do because the moment I try to do a whole setup professionally and get the right angles and stuff, I'm just going to screw up my hair. So I literally just sit down in front of my mirror and just kind of go in. So we're done with the hair. We're done with this little hair vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i hope this was kind of a little helpful because i have gotten questions on how i trim my hair at home and what little techniques i use and it's pretty straightforward but that's everything that i do really and i do this whether my hair is dark or whether it's light or long short extensions or my natural hair either way that is a little method that i use so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up i hope you guys are liking more of these lifestyle chill vlog style kind of videos as well i really like filming them and just showing you like you know what i do what i use on an everyday basis so i love you guys los quiero mucho and i will see you all in my next video don't forget to follow me on instagram Boop.